Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bow. I'm your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I wanna talk a little bit about the catalog that's coming out next Wednesday, June the 3rd. And this is 2020. Oh, will we ever forget this year? Um, <laughs> but on a lighter note, I got a delivery today of some of the products that are going to be in this new catalog. And they are so pretty. So I'm going to zoom down onto my tabletop, my desktop, and show you some of the things I got today. So here we go. Okay. Um, this is the catalog, and I know I've shown it to you, just the cover of it for a while. I'm not allowed to show you the inside as much as I want to. I can't do it. But what I can show you is what the new in colors are, and that's these right here. We have, I have to read the names because I haven't learned them all yet. We have Misty Moonlight, Magenta Madness, Just Jade, Cinnamon Cider, and Bumblebee. Oh, I'm getting close, getting close. So I wanna show you um, that these are the card stocks that I got. And we have different papers that are gonna coordinate with these because that's what they do every year. And here are some of them here. These are the, um, the Designer Series paper stack. Let's see, it's called the 2020 to 2022 Designer Series paper. And we have the, uh, whatever I called that, Mis Misty Moonlight. And then we have, come on now, Magenta Madness. We have Just Jade. And we have the um, Cinnamon Cider. Yay, I'm getting it. And Bumblebee is on the top, right here. So, excuse the little Just Jade sneaking in there. Okay, so each one of these um, color stacks have four different prints. Here's one, two. This looks like a kind of a acid wash. Pretty neat. These are the little dots. This is handwriting, well, type. It's a type set, and it says share what, let's see, it says it in several different languages. Um, to love what we do and share what we love. That's our mission with Stampin' Up. And then the back side of it is a wood grain. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Each color has these four patterns on them. I won't go through all the stack because all the patterns are the same. Okay, so wait till you see what else goes with them. These adorable little enamel dots. So cute. Oh, let's see. Let me get it under the camera there. There we are. Um, perfectly matched in color. And they're so much fun to use. And you see how well they go with everything. Okay, so one of the paper stacks I got is this 6x6 six six flowers for every seed. Okay, if you, if you would look and see how close these are in color. I mean, look, look at that with the, with the Just Jade and the Bumblebee. And the um, cinnamon cider, it blends so well together. And actually, the um, magenta madness and the moon, moon, misty moonlight. Ah, see, I'm learning. I'm learning. I got to read it. Uh, misty moonlight. Yes. Okay. I probably won't remember it in five minutes. But anyway, so the misty moon. These other colors would go with it, but you know, it's best coordinated with those. All right. I'll show you the other side of this. Look at that, perfect. And look how pretty that paper is. I'm just gonna go through all of them and show you. Okay, so here we go. I had surgery back on March 16th and my hand is still not perfect, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Let's go the other way, that'll be easier. It was, it was this hand. Well, this shoulder. Anyway, I had to wait for it to grow back before I could really do videos. Okay, so we're getting, um, let's say four sheets of each. So this print on one side and this on the other. And look at all the colors it uses. It uses everything but Magenta Madness right here. How about that? Oh, look at that. Wow, wow, that is a pop of color. Isn't that pretty? 
And this is the back of it. Oh, these are sweet. First of all, the yellow rose. That's beautiful. And look at the surprise on the other side. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. I love that paper. I love, love, love it. Y'all are gonna need it. Okay, let's see what's next. Come on now, let go. There we go. All right, we have this um, Just Jade with the it, other greens that we have at Stampin' Up would blend with this well. I don't know the names right now, but trust me. And there we go with some more bright pinks. More magenta madness. Okay, and then this. Oh, we always need a good floral background. This is a uh, three-tone. It's got, it looks like the um, cinnamon cider stem with the um, bumblebee, the little bumblebee flower. And maybe two different depths there. And a nice striped background. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, and here's these. There's four of each of these. Oh my goodness, how pretty. I mean, who, who just can't say spring when you see this? I mean, that is so spring and summer. And this to me says more summer, I guess, because it looks a little warmer. And this to me says spring. I don't know. I'm not a, a botanist. <laughs> okay. Oh, y'all. One of my favorite colors, I mean, one of my favorite things on the planet are tulips. And now, I don't know where you're from, but we say pennies or pennies. Now, down South Georgia, where I am, well, West Georgia, we say pennies. But you can say pennies if you want. But these aren't pennies anyway. I'm just saying. Um, these are tulips. And then, and then, like a fern kind of a print. And you're going to see more of that here shortly. I love that. That is so cool. Look at that. Okay. I'll turn these guys back over where the flowers are. Okay. And then we have this. Whoo, doggies. <laughs> There's some Christmas pop right there. Look at that. Poinsettias. Poinsettia. <laughs> um, actually, poinsettia is how we say it down here. And uh, a nice stripe. I like that. Yeah, there was talk that they were putting some Christmas patterns in there. And I'm not sure what that's called. I'm sure it's a simple, like a mum or something. But anyway, this flower too. Okay, so you see how well all of these go. They just look so pretty together. And that Christmas one that snuck in on us. Look at him over here with just jade. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, where do you go? How about right there? Okay, so that was called, that was called Flowers for Every Season, and it's a six by six designer series pack. Just beautiful. And it coordinates so well. I mean, if you, if you wanted to make cards with this and you have some um, card stock, you've got this uh, paper pack here, and you use some of this with it, boom. You don't even have to plan your card out. You really don't. And I'll tell you, um, I always get good ideas um, from going to Pinterest. And I put in um, in the search bar, Stampin' Up, and then the name of the product, and get all kinds of ideas. Okay, speaking of paper, this paper here, this is a designer series paper. And we always have, when you purchase designer series paper, um, you'll always have under the name, it'll show you the colors that coordinate with it. So for this one, it's um, designed to go with Garden Green, which is a green we already have, Just Jade, Pear Pizzazz, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, Soft Sea, soft sea Foam, and Whisper White. So um, and it's called Forever Greenery Designer Series Paper. Now Forever Greenery is a sweet. And in that suite, you can get stamps and dies, and that's a bundle. And uh, you can get embossing folders. If you got the whole suite, you'd get the stamps, the dies, embossing folders, um, the gold laser cut paper, 
um, some gold hoops like you'd use for the background of a wreath. They look like earrings. They do, big, big round earrings. Um, but you could use them for a wreath. It's kind of cool. Um, designer series paper, which is this, and then a ribbon trim combo pack that would go with the whole suite. So I'm going to show you this paper. Um, we're going to have one, two, we're going to have two pieces of each. So this is the front, this is the back. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I've got a chair in my living room that reminds me, this reminds me of that chair and the fabric that I picked to upholster it with. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow. Look at the fern. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. A lot of times, uh, lately, I don't, I don't know if Stampin' Up! has always done this or if it's just recent, but they actually are hand painting. Um, like, you can see it's a repetitive pattern, but they're hand painting and then they're photographing it uh, together. I mean, it's gorgeous. That's pretty. Ooh, look at that. Look at that pattern. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I think it goes this way, to be honest. There we go. Okay, so we have this. And then we have the back of it. And I hadn't seen this yet, y'all. I'm seeing it with you. Isn't that pretty? I love this paper. I mean, honest to goodness, I've, I've gone on tours um, at Stampin' Up! in Salt Lake City. And they actually frame designer series paper and just hang it on the wall. Mm -hmm. They do. Mm -hmm. Isn't that special? I mean, I can understand it. This is gorgeous. Oh, 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 the back of it. Look. Look at that. Oh, looks like rice. Is it rice paper? The wallpaper? Very pretty. And this has a little bluish green to it. So pretty. And then there's the back of that one. Okay, and again, you can see these color tones in the designer series paper that I just showed you. All right, so we will put this over here. I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way now. And I'm gonna show you the uh, stamps and dies that I got. This is from the um, Forever Greenery Suite. And this is the Forever Fern stamp set. And you'll recognize a lot of these little uh, images you saw in that designer series paper. Isn't that fabulous? And it comes with the little stickers to go on the backs of your stamp set. And it is a, uh, I call them red rubber stamps, y'all. They're called clear block or clear mountain stamps. But they were called that long before we came out with photopolymer. And the photopolymer stamps are... Um, they're clear, so we want to call them clear stamps, but they're called photopolymer stamps. I don't know. I don't name these things. But anyway, I call them red rubber, um, but they're actually called clear block stamps because you use a clear stamp with them. So let's look at these sentiments. Um, the Forever Fern says, you can do this. Hello. I can use that hello stamp for a zillion things. Love and laughter forever after. And then to a friend that makes me smile. Isn't that sweet? And I like that it's got this little splash of dots here. I love a texture stamp. Okay, and these are the Forever Flourishing Dies. And they come on a card like this. And they are going to match up with these stamps. For example, I'll show you. You know, something like... Let me see if I can get up under there. There we are. Oops. There we go. Something like that. Yep. And then, I mean, you see how many different varieties there are here. And look at this pretty thing right here. That would be so pretty on a card. I would do, I, I would do layers with vellum. That, I think I'm, I think I'm going to do that today. I think I'm just going to make a card with that today. I love vellum on a card, and especially when it's this pretty. Now, I wanted to share this with you. This uh, set came from Celebration, and I am offering this to U.S. shipping only. I cannot ship outside of the U.S., but this you cannot get anymore because it's Celebration. It's a lovely lily pad set, 
and you get the stamps and you get the dies and it is free to the first $150 order that I receive for the June 3rd catalog. So if you order, send me an email right away or you can you can ask me before you order if you'd like. Send me an email right away to Kathy with a K, Kathy Bohan at yahoo.com. Let me know that you're planning to order and you want to know if this set is still available. If you are in the U.S. and if I still have this set, if no one has placed that $150 order, then it's yours. It's brand new, never been used. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you some things that came in the last shipment, which was my first part of the pre-order. And that is going to be the Lovely You. Um, this is called Clean Stamp Set, Clear Block, like I was talking about before. And you see the size of these they are, they're all about the same size, and I will show you, this is one of the cards I made for um, for using this set. I've actually made this for a swap, a card swap, and it's um, CASED, which means copy and share everything. It's an acronym. It's CASED from the inside of the catalog. So there's a card in there that looks like this. And what I did, I used, you see the, the Knight of Navy, because I didn't have the inks yet for the new ink colors. They're delayed on a slow boat from China or something because of the COVID, right? So I did the Knight of Navy with the uh, this one. This one is, I want to say, um, Blushing Bride. I'm not sure. This is the gold-looking flower like that. And then this one here I did in, uh, in a gray. And I made multiples of these cards. Here's a handful of them here. I made 16 of them, and I'm sending uh, I'm sending a bunch of them off for the card swap. And basically, a card swap is is a lot of times uh, demonstrators do that. So we'll have a bunch of different um, cards to share. Okay, and this this was the bundle. The um, I don't recall the name of the bundle, but it's lovely you, and this is called the lovely labels. Uh, pick a punch and basically that's how I made that's how I made the the sentiment right here it's um there's a I got to look at the measurement again there is a half inch three quarter inch and a one inch and you can see how I've marked it right there so the half inch is in the tiniest slot right here and then the um, three quarter and then the one inch so what you're seeing here is the three quarter and the one inch laying one on top of the other. So, and, and if you're wondering how I got it white like this, this is heat embossed and I used a white, uh, Stampin' Up! white um, embossing powder. So that is going to be a bundle that's coming. Okay, and this um, is... The stamp set is retiring, but the punch is not. Now go figure. I, I don't I don't understand. But we're gonna continue keeping the cat punch. But if you want the stamps to go with it, you need to go ahead and order. Um go to um kathybow.stampinup.net and look for nine lives and put that in your order. Okay. Music from the heart, it's retiring, and it's a last chance item. I made a really cute card with this one, sent it to a friend. So this set here is retiring also. Outdoor barbecue, super cute. Go to Pinterest, you'll see some really cute cards with that one. Um, celebrate sunflowers. This will be new in the new catalog. And it has dies. So you can see, I've been playing with it a little bit. Like that. And here are the dies right there. And then the stamps are under here. And if you wonder why I have the wrap against the, the labels, it's because these are uber sticky. They are so sticky. And what I do when I go to um, set up a new set, I take this sheet here. And I adhere all of the labels to the stamps, okay? Then what's left is this waxy kind of paper. And I will lay it on top to keep the stamps from sticking to 
either the dies or the top of the, the um, box here. So these are in here like this. Now, I've also marked, if you get this set, I've also marked that sunflower. See the purple dot? Okay, because when you go to cut it out, it's it fits a certain way. And you just line it up like this because this is marked with purple also. I'll show you. See if you can see that. Yep. Okay. And it's just, you know, some people kind of engrave a little bit on it. I didn't want to do that. Some people just use a marker. Um, if the marker rubs off, I'll just put it back on. Not a biggie. Not a biggie. Okay. Tasteful touches. This one also will be new. It is new in the new catalog. So pretty. And it has... Now, why are there two in here? Look at that. There's two. That's crazy. They gave me two. Anyway, it has two. <laughs> don't count on getting two now. You don't even need them. But I got two of them in mine. Okay, a grandkid. This one is also... Let me see if I've got my card over here. I do somewhere... Oh, it's already in an envelope, I think. Here it is. A grandkid. This is what I made for my grandson's birthday. And I used the best grandkid ever with the hostess set of summer days. And you have to have a party or you have to um, at least um, order $150 in retail to be eligible to get this set here. So I used the little boy and the trees to make that for my grandson. My grandson, Jack. But on the grandkid, let me tell you about this one. You don't have to be a grandparent because there's only three sentiments in here that are specific to grandchildren. And that is the best grandkid ever to an amazing grandson to an extraordinary granddaughter. That's it. The rest of them can be for anybody. Um, no amount of money could ever show how much I love you, but here's some anyway. Congratulations. So smart, so fun, so sweet, and so wonderful. You are so loved. And then um, I love the part that says, it, well, you would put these together. Smart, fun, sweet, and wonderful. We must be related. <laughs> and then happy birthday and so proud of you. So this could be used for so many different ways. And you could also, uh, don't, don't be nervous, but you can cut your stamps. You can. I would take, if I didn't have grandchildren, I might take this and cut it right between the D and the K. So it would be best kid ever. Mm -hmm. You could do that. And, oh, the summer days, if you want to get another look at that. Little girl reading up under the tree, and there's a bunny and a kitty cat and a puppy dog and an apple and some clouds and uh, butterflies. Okay, this little set is not retiring. It is in the old catalog, and it's going to be in the new catalog. And I went ahead and ordered it because I needed to make this card. Mm -hmm. Had to. Had to. Okay. Um, Painted Harvest, um, this one also, yeah, this is photopolymer, those stamps I was talking about earlier that are clear. This one, I think is retiring. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. And I really needed it in my life. So I got that. And what else? Um, I'm going to show you just some cards now from... I don't know if I've got this set out or not, but I needed a baby card, so I made this. This um, folder here is retired, Stampin' Up, and the stamp set may be retired, I'm not sure. And then this is Father's Day cards right here. And let's see what else I've got. I think that's everything. So I hope this, um, I hope this helps you to get excited about the new catalog. I'm very excited about it, and I'm hoping that um, I have everything in here in time for sharing some new projects at the 1st of June. I'm uh, looking for the inks next, you know, as soon as they're delivered, or rather as soon as they're available, because in the U.S. we don't have them yet. I don't know if anybody does. Um, so please know that if there's any way I can help you, I'm happy to do tutorials, um, help you learn how to stamp if you're a new stamper or if you're a seasoned stamper. Um, you know, if you want to learn a new technique, things like that, that's what I do for my customers. 
I'm always available. I'm retired, and this is my job. Um, this and um, I'm a 31 Gifts Consultant. Look for me on Facebook at Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed, and I'll be there on Monday evenings at 8 p.m. doing videos, and I'm also on Facebook at Kathy Bow's Totes, and that's my 31 page. I would love to see you there as well. Again, U.S. only, but um, if I can help you connect with someone overseas, I'll be happy to try to do that. All right? Thanks so much, and God bless. Toodles!